Oh, thank God for that. They're actually giving me 10 days to get correctly licensed. <sighs> Hi, it's me again. And yeah, I'm back with one of my favorite videos to do. You know I love talking about the letters because so many people who are new to TV licensing and the rules and the fight and everything get these letters because they're struggling to pay their bills or whatever at the minute. And they stumble across these videos and I help put their mind at ease because you could rightly be quite concerned by some of the letters, rightly so. They write them in a manner to concern you on purpose. They want to scare you into paying for something you might not need. And so I thought today we'll have a look at another one. So have you got this letter come through your door? Look, it's got a bit of a calendar on the front and it says, we're giving you 10 days to get correctly licensed. So if you've got that, you could be somewhat concerned by it because maybe you're not paying you, your license fee at the minute through protest or because you can't afford it or you just don't understand the whole system. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to let you know everything you need to know about this letter. Spoiler alert. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's have a look. Dear sir slash madam, very presumptive. I could be neither of those. You don't know. I could report you for a hate crime. There is no record of a TV license at this address. This means you are breaking the law if you are watching or recording live TV programs on any channel or downloading or watching BBC programs on iPlayer on any device. Well, at least they've opened up with some truth for once. Normally, they bury that right down the bottom. So yeah, if you don't pay for the TV license fee, you can't watch or record anything as it's being broadcast or use BBC iPlayer. And it's nice they've put that at the top. I haven't had a license fee for going on 10 years. Look at the comments down below. There'll be people who are 20, 30 years not paying the license fee. As long as you don't watch or record anything that's been broadcast or use iPlayer, you don't need to pay the license. Doesn't matter if you own tellies. It's not based on the equipment. It's based on what you use the equipment to do. Right, let's carry on. We will not visit you for 10 days, but you must get correctly licensed. What if I don't need a license? Does it say there, what if you don't need a license? I don't want to get correctly licensed. I am correctly licensed as far as I'm concerned because I don't require one. So why are you saying I must get correctly licensed? You see what I mean? These are written in a way to scare you into paying for something you might not need. They're not giving you the full information. They do bury it on here and we'll probably get to that in a minute. But they're not giving you all the information you may need. Why can't they just put there... If you don't watch or record anything that's being broadcast or use iPlayer, you don't need a license. So you can tell us you don't need a license or you can just ignore this letter. And if you do want to buy a license in the future, yeah, you know where we are. Why can't they just put that? I mean, they'd sell less licenses, but they'd get a bit more respect from the people, wouldn't they? Ridiculous. Right, what the rest of this paragraph say? We know how difficult it is to pay bills at the moment. That's why we're giving you until the 25th of January to get correctly licensed. How kind of you, BBC overlords. You're giving me 10 more days to go and buy something I don't want or need. How are they allowed to get away with this? How are they allowed to get away with this? It's got to say there, we know how difficult it is to pay bills at the moment, so that's probably why you're not paying your licence fee. So just a reminder, you can't do this if you don't have the licence. But otherwise, you can ignore this letter. Our investigation of your address has been put on hold. Oh, God, thanks. And we will not send an enforcement officer to your address during this time. All right, let's talk about their investigations and their enforcement officers then, all right? Because this letter, it's not my best copy of this letter that I'm reading from. I'll try and find a better one, otherwise it's going to be a bit blurry on the screen. But it does say it's addressed to the legal occupier. And we are dear sir slash madam. So their investigation has not yet found out who we are at the address. Something I could find out in literally a couple of minutes and £2.50. Not hard to do. So their investigation team, their crack investigation team there. Crack, no, I spelled crack wrong, didn't I? It's got a P at the end. And we will not send an enforcement officer to your address at this time. Now, if you're new to all of this, you might be scared by the words enforcement officer. They call themselves enforcement officers. They're actually door-to-door -door salesmen. They don't have any powers at all. And the TV licensing website will confirm that if you have a look. They, do, they like to sound like they're bailiffs or police or something. They're not. They don't have any powers at all. They are door-to-door -door salesmen. They're enforcement officers in the same way that I'm a hamburger inspector. Doesn't get me through the back door at McDonald's, does it? And they don't get entry into your property because they're just door-to-door -door salesmen. And you must treat them like other unwanted door-to-door -door salesmen. You know, someone's trying to sell you a vacuum cleaner or dusters or pegs or whatever. You're like, no, thanks, mate. He just shut the door. That's it. So you open the door to one of these people. They'll stand there looking all official with a clipboard or an electronic device, whatever. They say, hello, who are you? 
Hi, I'm from TV Licensing. Uh, stop them. Be polite. No thanks, mate. Close the door. Done. That is how you deal with these people. They're door-to-door -door salesmen and they're unwanted door-to-door -door salesmen. And many people believe, no, no, you must talk to them. They're an enforcement officer. I promise you, I'm not trying to get you into trouble. They are door-to-door -door salesmen. Have a look down in my playlists on the channel. I've got a playlist called Goon Visits, and it's just filled with people saying, no thanks mate, I'm closing the door. They're door-to-door -door salesmen that earn commission, and they're not gonna bother with you if you know how to deal with them. They're gonna go and find some easier prey because they need to make their commission. And when you say no thanks mate, they can't keep banging on a door, they can't put the foot in the door. They're not enforcement officers, they are door-to-door -door salesmen. They will toddle, they won't be happy about it, obviously they've just lost some commission. But that's it. And their investigation is that. The only way, I mean, I never condone watching stuff you shouldn't be watching if you don't have a telly license. I never condone that. But the only way they would know if you're watching something you shouldn't be watching if you don't have a telly license is you telling them. Detector vans are a myth. They never existed. In their history of TV license prosecutions, not one has ever been brought about by evidence gained from a TV license detector van thing. It's never happened, not once. The only way you can get in trouble is by talking, and some of them are really good at getting you to talk. And you may very well turn yourself around in knots, stitch yourself up, say something you shouldn't be saying, even if you're being completely innocent. This is what they do for a living. Or they'll ask to come into your property and examine your equipment. Doubler and tundra as much as you want there. Never ever let them into your property. They've got no right to be there. They don't need to be there. They're not the police. They don't have a warrant. They're not allowed in your property and never talk to them. The more you talk to them, the more trouble you're gonna get. Just no thanks, mate, shut the door. You are perfectly within your rights to do it. It's empowering, and it will let them know you're not to be walked over. You still get the crappy letters come through, but they, they're meaningless, it's just a letter. It's absolute nonsense. Please don't be scared by it. They write it in a way to scare you. They use door-to-door -door goons in a way to scare you. And how they're allowed to conduct business like this I have no idea at all. Now, I've been licensed for about 10 years. I've had two visits. I'm expecting another one soon because the letters have started now. I'm in my new property. So I will probably get one. And when I do, I will answer it. Who are you? I'm from TV licensing. No, thanks, mate. And I will shut the door. Done. And they, they won't bother me again. Plus, they'll probably recognize me from all these videos. So they'll either not bother me again or they'll bother me more. I don't know. But that wouldn't happen to you. So don't worry about that. Right, what else does this say? Call us on this number by the 25th of January. One of our specialist advisors will help you check if you need a TV license. Finally, they're gonna help us check if we need a TV license. I mean, we don't need a specialist advisor for that. I can do that for you in seconds. Do you watch or record anything as it's been broadcast? Do you watch BBC iPlayer? If you answer yes to either of those questions, you need a TV license. If like me, you only watch Netflix or catch up TV like from ITVX or all four, Demand 5, things of that nature, and you're not watching it as it's being broadcast, you're just streaming stuff down on demand, you don't require a television license. There you go, seconds. You don't need a specialist advisor for that. If you phone them, they're gonna try and sell you something. If you do, they'll help you find the best way to spread the cost, for example, blah, blah, blah. I don't wanna spread the cost. If you think you don't need a license, you should tell us in the next 10 days so we can update our records. That's an important bit there. Now, you can tell them. You can phone them up or you can do it online and tell them you don't need a television license. Call a no license needed declaration. And what it will do, it will cut down most of the crappy letters. But you have to renew it every two years for some reason, don't know why. And it won't stop you getting a visit. In fact, it probably would mean you definitely get a visit. Because they reckon one in eight people declare it falsely. So we've just got to send someone round just to double check, just to make sure you don't need a license. You're pretty much guaranteeing a visit at the minute if you live in a big enough town to get it, by doing a low license needed. You don't have to tell them. It's ridiculous. I don't have to continually tell Amazon that I don't want your Amazon Prime service. I don't have to do that. So why do I have to do that here? You don't. They want to keep in contact with you because they know the more contact they have, the more chance they've got of selling you something you may not need. So I've got letters all piled up down here. I haven't paid it. You don't have to tell them anything. Just keep throwing these letters away. Keep throwing them away. And they get worse and worse and worse. And you're like, how do they get away with this? You don't have to tell them. You can if you want to. I did. I did it for a few years. I did do the no license needed declaration for quite a few years. I don't anymore. And I won't be doing it again. If you want to do it, it's up to you. It's no problem at all. You can do it. But I'm not going to do it. 
What happens if you decide to do nothing? If you don't contact us by the 25th of January, we will then start a full investigation of your address. Does that not sound like a threat to you? If you don't do what we're telling you to do, we're going to make things worse for you. A full investigation. We'll send the boys round. How dare you? How dare you not reply to us in the 10 days? That's what they say. It's spoiled brattery, isn't it? If I got this letter and I just moved into a property or something and I was going to buy a TV license and they sent me this letter, I'd turn me right off. I wouldn't buy one out of spite now. How do they get away with it? How do they get away with it? And their full investigation of your address, all they're going to do is send someone to your house. They can't investigate any other way. They can't. And when they turn up in your house, no thanks, mate. Shut the door. Done. Investigation over. And just to put salt in the wound at the bottom, look, remember, you have until the 25th of January to get correctly licensed. If we don't hear from you by this date, we will start a full investigation of your address. Piss off. I just, I will never understand how they get away, how they get away with making these letters. You know, any other company tried to do this, they'd be clamped down on with the full force of the law. But TV licensing get a free pass every time. This ain't even the worst of them. Some of them are absolutely blimmin' shocking. Go and have a look. I've got a playlist of all the letters on the channel and a playlist of the goon visits, which I do suggest you take a look at because uh, it'll put your mind at ease as well. And some of them are quite funny. Some of them are quite shocking, but it will let you know what to expect if you're not paying your TV license fee. Go and have a look. And there's loads of help down there as well, letting you know what you can and can't watch. I've got tons of videos on it. Go and take a look. If you've got any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Or if you have a look in the description thing, there's a forum, TV License Resistance Forum. Go and put your questions on there because they know everything there is no way more than I'll ever know about TV licensing and they'll give you all the advice all the advice you can need and uh, yeah as always thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because that way hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon won't I? Ta-da!